It's strange the things you remember. Seven nine two one seven one four nine BA. That false number was given to me when I turned sixteen, and it stayed with me through my army service. I guess I had no choice but to memorize it, and so it stuck. But as for how Yanni Foster was killed, I couldn't tell you. Even though I was there when he died. June 17th, 1981. Our squad was on patrol in southern Angola when we were ambushed by Swapo forces. They opened up on us with machine guns, RPGs, the works. In the chaos, Foster and I were separated from our guys. We began the long trek back to base. I don't believe those guys just buggered off like that. Left us pinned down. When I see that Sarge again, I'm going to beat his bloody Dutchman head in. Hey, what's this Dutchman crap? Listen, I've had more than enough abuse from the Afrikaansos. Engelsman this, so peel that. Fucking army. Later we came across an old hut. We decided to spend the night there. It's gone. It's probably just a hyena or something. Yeah. Just a hyena. I nearly had a heart attack, man. Feeling jumpy. I guess. I'm just not cut out for the soldier stuff. Yeah. I know. Is it that obvious? Yeah. No, I don't care. I think this whole business is a crock of shit anyway. You know, I bet that was a hyena. Did you hear the story from camp? About the guy who was killed in his sleep by a hyena? Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. Imagine that. You go to war and you get eaten by a hyena. How long you got left? A year? You? Three months. So yes, Omen? Yeah. But I'm thinking of staying in the army. What? You're crazy. Ugh. If I go back home, what will I do? Work in my father's butchery? Nah, if I stay in the army, I can make something of myself. Maybe become an officer or something. I can't wait to claw it out, eh? Get on with my life. Go on, but get some rest. I'll take watch. Yanni was a good soldier. Committed. A bit idealistic, perhaps. I just never bought into the idea that I was serving my country. But for Yanni, it was all that mattered.
Looks like a mortar attack. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just thinking of you as Lieutenant Foster, marching around and shouting orders like an eager prick. <laughs> You know, Miller, maybe if you were a bit more eager, you wouldn't get in so much cuck all the time. <laughs> no, listen. The secret to army life, my good friend, is the art of jippoing. I don't mind getting cucked on by the sergeant, as long as I do as little work as possible. We're serving our country. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Serving our country? Bullshit! We're running around the bush for two years on border patrols. Do you honestly think we're serving a purpose here? We're protecting our borders. We're not even on our borders. We're in fucking Angola. The government won't even admit we're here. It's all just a plan to keep the Afrikaners in power. What difference does it make? We've got a job to do! Crap. Ever since coming home, I've been haunted by the vision of Yanni lying dead. I have nightmares. But I always wake up before he was killed. All I want to remember is what happened so I can know whether it was my fault. Whether I failed to do my duty as a soldier. A soldier's duty. What is that? How do you find meaning in a war you don't understand? I think what I've realized is that it wasn't so much about serving my country. It was about serving my fellow soldiers. Listen, I'm finished, man. Looks like an old Portuguese quarry. Don't know what's through the tunnel there. I'll go check it out. Signal to you when I'm clear. Cover me.
Yari, Yari. I'm not gonna make it to my sister's wedding. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It was, there was nothing you could do. Foster. Foster! There was nothing you could do. I don't know. I think I'll always live with the feeling that it was somehow my fault. Ernest Hemingway wrote, In modern war, there is nothing sweet nor fitting in your dying. You will die like a dog for no good reason. I suppose I should just be thankful that I survived.